So Berkshire Hathaway stocks showed a crash of 99.97% shortly after the opening bell today, Monday, June 3rd. After opening at $625,735 per share for the Class A shares, they drifted slightly lower to $622,000 and change at 9.50 a.m. and 37 seconds. And then the very next second, they traded at $185.10. Now that would represent a loss of 99.97% from the opening trade and a decline in market cap of, oh, roughly $897 billion or so. And you know, people tend to notice when almost a trillion dollars evaporates in one second. But fear not, this was all due to a glitch and trading has resumed and it's back up to 625,000 and change as of 1.27 p.m. this uh, afternoon. But let's explain exactly what happened. Hey everyone, my name is Preet and I'm a former stockbroker and this channel is for anyone who wants to up their financial and investing literacy. Trading of Berkshire Hathaway Class A shares were immediately halted by the New York Stock Exchange at 9.50 a.m. and 52 seconds. So a reaction time of 15 seconds. In the grand scheme of things, not so bad. Now, if you were a high frequency trading firm, that would be glacial, but overall, not bad. In fact, a number of stocks this morning all faced similar glitches, including Chipotle, Barrick Gold, uh, Bank of Montreal for the US listed shares, and more. In total, it looks like about 28 listings were affected between the NYSE and the NYSE ARCA exchanges, but again, trading resumed less than two hours later. And during this time, we got some pretty funny reactions on social media, including this one. If you bought $500 of Berkshire Hathaway 10 minutes ago, it would now be worth over $2 million. Trung Fan posted a fake photo of Warren Buffett's Twitter account making its first tweet in nine years to simply say HODL. <laughs> and again, that's fake. But as funny as these are, seeing a drop of basically 100% in the stock of Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway would be pretty unnerving, especially if you held it. And if you happen to buy it during the few seconds it was basically free, you might be wondering if you'll be allowed to hold on to your shares. Unfortunately, it is most likely your trade will get busted, which is another way of saying that it will be reversed. According to veteran trader Joe Saluzzi from Themis Trading, the exchange's policy on clearly erroneous transactions would allow the trade to get unwound. So while this has not as of yet been announced, it seems very likely that that will be the case. Sorry. But you know what? You didn't lose out completely. You found this channel. Hit the like button if you found any of this helpful. Now, what caused the glitch. The root of the problem lies with what is known as the CTA SIP. CTA stands for the Consolidated Tape Association and SIP stands for Securities Information Processor. The consolidated tape is kind of like the single source of truth for trades executed and for providing quotes to the market. The exchanges send their trades and quotes to a central consolidator who then distributes that to the market in a single data feed. Now the SIP also calculates critical regulatory information including the national best bid and offer information as well as what are known as the limit up limit down price bands. The limit up, limit down mechanism is designed to prevent trades from happening outside specific price bands to curb excessive volatility. And apparently the glitch was that the price bands published in the SIP were wrong, and that led to erroneous stock prices, triggering the NYSE's automatic trading halt mechanism to stabilize the market and to allow time to sort it all out. And I actually think that one of the big takeaways here is that the systems designed to help secure market integrity worked. Yes, somehow an error was introduced to the SIP and I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions about that, but systems kicked in to shut things down until the anomaly could be sorted out and it all happened pretty quick in about 15 seconds. There is some chatter online that is asking if this is in any way related to the recent change to settlement times going to T plus one, which rolled out, I think it was just last week, and if that added complexity to the system. And quite frankly, it's just too early to say. Uh, it could just be a coincidence. We don't have enough information to make that link. Let me know in the comments if you would like a video on historical stock market glitches, or if you have questions about specific ones, and I might put together a video on those for fun. So in summary, today's technical glitch in the CTA SIPs price bands led to significant yet erroneous price drops, which triggered automatic trading halts to stabilize the market. It's likely any trades at the low price will get busted or reversed. So if you were holding Berkshire Hathaway and somehow you sold at 185, like you put in a market order right in that narrow window of time, you'll likely get your shares back. 
And if you bought at 185, well, you'll likely get that reversed too. Again, sorry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.